Here's the Strava record of a recent ride that I recorded on my Garmin Edge 1030. If I go to the analysis section and look at the detail of the data, there's a section with some data issues. Specifically, heart rate and cadence. I first noticed this when I was going up a hill. My cadence was registering 0 RPM. I thought this is a bit strange, but I put it down to the battery in my cadence sensor going flat. A little while later, while still going up the hill, I noticed my heart rate was at 106 BPM. This, I thought, was very low. So I kept an eye on it. It remained at 106 BPM. I stopped at the top of the hill and investigated. My heart rate was registering on my Strava app, so the HRM strap wasn't the problem. As any Microsoft Windows user knows, if at first you don't succeed, close down all the windows, shut down the computer and restart it. So this is what I decided to do with my Garmin. In the next section I'll show you you can close down your Garmin mid-ride without losing data. From there, back to home, everything was fine again. So I put the problem down to the Garmin head unit, closing down the Bluetooth connection. This is my Garmin Edge 1030. I'm going to demonstrate that you can turn off or close down your computer without losing your current ride data. Here I've started an activity and started to record some data. First I'll pause the data recording by pressing the stop start button. If you don't do this you won't be able to shut your computer down. I then give the power button a long press and the power options are shown. I select power off and the Garmin closes down. A long press on the power button will instruct the computer to reboot. This will take a few moments. Once this pause ride screen is shown, I can press the stop start button again and you can see the existing ride data is still there and the timer is counting up. As well as this Garmin Edge 1030, I've owned the 1000, an 810, an 800 and a 305. Retaining the data while powered off has worked with them all, so I assume it works with all Garmin devices. If you like short to the point videos about random cycling subjects and you can overlook the mediocre production quality, then click on the 5 minute Velo logo to subscribe. Go on, you know you want to. If you're a real glutton for punishment, here are some other videos.